Okay. Oh, hi everybody, and uh, thanks for watching the last video. So just a little more clarity on the buying of the chateau. So this is the first uh, chateau that we saw, and in this video I'm gonna take you through all the floor plans, the history, uh, the understanding of uh, everything about that chateau. Uh, but before that, I'm just gonna tell you, this is the first one we've looked at. Um, there was the idea when we moved to France was to get a small place and then build up to a larger place just to learn the builders, merchants, the suppliers, the different trades and different things like that. And then on a smaller project, sell that and move to something. Because the idea really is to have a kind of nice high-end B&B uh, with a small amount of rooms that we can do ourselves or with maybe one or two people helping uh, during the busier periods. Um, nice kind of home-cooked meals in the evening. So that's always been the plan. So we are really looking for the place uh, to do that. So join us on this journey. If you like and subscribe below, there'll be a separate folder for all the different chateaus that we visit. And I'll do it in exactly the same way every time. We'll do a full tour video of the chateau so you can see around. And then I'll do a second video explaining all the characteristics, the different things, what town it's in, the price, um, what works for England, what works are needed, that kind of thing, what land comes with it, etc. Um, so we hope you enjoy today's video, which goes a bit more in depth of the uh, Chateau. If you haven't seen the video, there'll be a link below and a link at the end. Um, and to get all the different chatters we're viewing, remember to like and subscribe. So most of the time we do on the dailies, we do our lives in France, the renovation of the other property, the things we travel, supermarkets, different things. So feel free to enjoy those videos too. Um, but the ones for the Chateau will be in a separate folder. So just watch out for those and we will talk. Also, if you know of any Chateaus or if anyone has any advice or information we love hearing from that and we do try and respond to every comment we read everything we see sometimes people say they commented and we haven't seen them and i think they get lost in the ether somehow and i'm not sure how that happens but we do try and uh, reply if we haven't replied it's because it's gone somewhere and we don't know where it's gone so keep writing and keep it involved um there's a great uh, amount of people who regularly comment and we really say say hi to all of you um, we love hearing from you each day and yeah, it's wonderful. We're having a great time doing the YouTube. So for more Chateau tours and things, and this week Chateau's for sale. Someone also said, oh, you can't just go around for doing Chateau's to do. Well, we're not. We are explaining our situation to the people, to the agents. We're telling them, um, for this example, this Chateau, we had to send financials and everything like that to, to show that we could afford to purchase it if we wanted to and how we would fund it and what we were looking to do with it. Um, we also said, you know, our position that we are, it's the first one we're looking at, we wanted to get a feel. Um, for this one, we loved it. We loved the location, we loved the town um, that it was in, the views, um, the small amount of land really works for us because otherwise you've got to have gardens, you've got to look at things. But we do feel it's maybe two floors too much. So yeah. it's just the first two floors for doing roof, to do chimneys, to do anything like this. The scaffolding impact on that is very, very high. Even if we closed the floors off and didn't use the rooms, it's still the external works and the external things which make that kind of prohibited. And again, people were asking, well, what are you going to do in the winter for heating? We, what, we had friends who owned a very big house uh, in the south uh, east of England, and they had a fabulous living room, a fabulous bedroom, a bathroom, and a small kitchen, and they fully insulated that whole thing as a separate entity and put a separate heating in. So it was like really running a big one bedroom uh, flat for them. And then the rest of it was kind of shut down or they had log burners if they had people over and they would just heat the room going in the morning and it'd be fabulous for the evening to have people over. So that's how we kind of live off season. And then the rest of the time, nice and warm in France in the summer, there's no real need for heating. And because it's these kind of old buildings, their walls are thick and they stay very, very truly cool. You know, there's not a lot of cooling needed. So um, that kind of answers that question. That was one of the biggest questions. But thank you everyone for commenting on the last video and all the old subscribers, we all say hi and we love hearing from you. And to all the new people, a lot of people joined. So thanks for joining and enjoy the videos. We can't just say thank you as well. Thank That's you. <laughs> so take care everybody. <clears throat> and we'll, I hope you enjoy the video a bit more in depth. If, I'm also attaching the PDF that the estate agent, there's a link to it. So it's in French, but you can run it through Google and things. You just upload the document and it'll put it into whatever language you want it in. Um, so you can have a read through that. So all the links below. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Take yeah. care. Bye. 
So I'm going to talk you through the brochure that we got sent before we viewed. So you see the front and the back images of the property um, with some of the gardens there. So the property is located in the district of Indre, which is number 36, about 45 minutes from Chateau, 15 minutes from La Chatra. Um, all quite straight direct roads from those t city and town. I'm going to include this brochure link below, so if you want to download it, it's in French, but you can put it through a translator if you want to. So it's in the town of saint sever sur indre um, As you can see, there's the church and the tower in the town square. It's a town that's famous for a movie called Jour Fet, or Jour de Fet, and there's a museum um, to that, which you can see here. Um, and that's in the town square along with where they hold the weekly market. Um, so they put a little bit more about the building. The first uh, building there was in the 13th century, and then a second chateau in the 15th century, and this current chateau was built in uh, 1936 and occupied um, up until 2017. It was a convalescent home in its last uh, use. So that is the, uh, the medieval tower and the um, armour of the uh, original family. So this is the site plan. Um, as you can see, there are two entrances. One here, which is the main entrance that we've shown you, and there's a second entrance behind the market um, with steps up to the garden and the parklands that surround the property. Um, so this is, as you can see, all the orange bits are buildings of the town. That's the town square, um, where they hold the market. And there's a fabulous restaurant we go to a lot, and you'll be able to see it in here, uh, in the other vlogs that we've videoed before, um, where we've been for lunch. So this is the ground floor plan of the property. And this is where you go in. So you drive from where we've just shown you the main entrance, into the gardens, you arrive into this central hallway with the stairs. You have a, a principal room here. They've named them, but I, I think they could be open to different interpretations. So you've got three main rooms, and kind of a kitchen area here, and some back office ancillary rooms to here, and the passenger lift. And then, so that's the front with the, 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 view, the other views. So this is the three upper floors. Um, but before we do that, I forgot to show you here the uh, private house, which has a, a doorway through, but it's, that's the ground floor um, with a kitchen, a couple of uh, living rooms of the owner or uh, caretaker. And then the, the second floor for that with its own private staircase is above. And you can access that on the ground floor but not on the first floor. So then we're back into the main hall. This is if you arrive at the top floor. And I think this room is more or less the original size, but then you can see the smaller rooms to the side that are quite obviously split from larger rooms that probably would have interconnected to create a suite of rooms for the owners at this point. So this has the uh, left-hand wing which has been quite severely chopped up to put in a passenger lift. So on the second floor, you can see that uh, the owner's accommodation is finished and you have both wings accessible by the central corridor. But again, very split up rooms, um, even more so than the first floor, to create smaller individual single bedded rooms for the convalescent care. But as you do go to the third floor, you will see that that was probably the original room sizes in the central part. And if you see at the end, two wings, if you look at the right wing, which is at the top of the screen, you can see that that was probably two rooms, which are two or three rooms that are divided into multiple rooms and bathrooms. So here now you see the second entrance, which is the entrance if you go through the village and it, you arrive at this kind of parkland with views. And currently, um, 
that entrance is open to allow the locals to use it. Um, they have an agreement with the mayor, but uh, on purchase that would be closed again and for the private use of their property. So these are further views of the garden back round towards the chateau and a view from the bottom of the garden up towards the rear view of the chateau which has this view in, in the alternate direction. So we're coming back to the interior of the property, that's the main staircase and you can see all this in the tour we've done which will be the video linked at the end and you can see the first floor there and then some of the panellings and it doesn't look much different to when this uh, video, this sorry, this uh, brochure was made six years ago so it's staying in very very good condition um, as, we're, as this is a PDF that I'm going through it will load the pages at the bottom so you just have to bear with that sorry so again these are just the still images um, of when the property was put for sale to create the brochure uh, six years ago And still, still, as I say, in very good condition, um, considering it's been empty for so long. This is one of my favourite rooms at the top of the property. You have incredible views and this wonderful round window in the centre. And again, these other properties, they have a bit of a slopey roof and things. And that, I think they're very cute and quaint and could be lovely. But it shows you a bit more of the original size of how the rooms would have been proportioned. So here's the services, these are located in the basement. Um, that boiler is about uh, 10 years old, we're told, maybe a bit more from the looks of it. And the passenger lift. It also, France doesn't have uh, piped gas as you do in the UK, so it does have a gas tank. And this is the kind of worst part of the building, is the basement. Um, you know, it looks a bit damp and what have you, flaky paint. But there you go, and there's the price and the phone number. But for us, I think it's a couple of floors too high. So anything with roof and things, you would be, you know, huge amounts of scaffolds and huge amounts of other things. You can't just use cherry pickers. So thanks for joining us. I'll see you again.